Let's now move back to that distort section and look at that liquify filter right here. This is the most advanced of all your distortion filters and you can do a lot of stuff with this. This we have brush size right there, real large brush at this point. I can bring that brush size down a little bit. And there we go. Brush pressure. This is how much of the effect is applied. And then we have lots of options here. We have a warp tool, turbulence tool, and twirl tools left and right. A pucker tool and a blow tool. Shift pixels, reflection tool, and a reconstruct tool. And then we can zoom in and move around as well. Now the first one up here, the warp tool, kind of works like finger painting. As if this whole thing was an oil painting, and I'm just going to smear my finger through it and push the pixels around. Just like that. You know, interesting tool. You can just kind of come in and do whatever you want in here, any kind of weird distortion you want. Coming down here to the bottom, the reconstruct tool allows me to come back in and just paint over those areas and push them back again, back to where they belong. Just kind of twirl it around here and it'll push everything back to its original setting, allowing you to, to reconstruct parts of your picture. There we go. Okay, next one here we have the turbulence tool. If I pull that through, it just kind of makes turbulence on the area. And let's just paint that back out again. Next up are the twirl tools. I'm going to go for a larger brush size here on the twirl so you can really see this. Let's go right here. So there's a clockwise twirl. The longer I hold it, the more the twirl is going to be. And it twirls inside of that circle. If I let go, it stops at that point. So there's a twirl. Let's just twirl this wheel around a little bit. There we go. The next one is the counterclockwise. Let's just twirl it backwards. There's the counterclockwise twirl. If I pull it across, it lets you kind of twirl as I'm going, which is an interesting kind of water ripple effect in there. Okay, let's go back to our reconstruct and I'll just paint this all back in again. There we go. Yeah, let's bring that size down a bit. The pinch tool here pinches an area in, as you can see, just like that. This kind of squeezes things in. And let's reconstruct. The pucker tool makes things larger. Now you've seen this, this particular tool a lot. This is used on greeting cards all the time. You see those cards where the animals have the really huge eyes, like the eyes have been exploded out? That's this tool right there. They just go to the eyeball and they click it a little bit, hold it, and it makes the eyeball larger. So that's the, the pucker tool. So I want to recreate that. That's the way you can do that is with that tool. Okay, let's just put those back the way they were. There we go. And we have our shifting tool. It just kind of shifts the pixels left to right, as you can see there, or up or down. I'll shift them up or down. And we'll recreate that. And finally, the flipping tool. Notice how it's actually reflecting the image up here or left to right reflection. So there you go. That is the liquify tool. And you see all of these are kind of like working with the image as if it was made out of oil paint or made out of a soft clay and you're able to push it around in different ways using these different tools. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at HowToGurus.com.
Thanks again for watching.